Hi everybody, it's Miss Aviva from the Ridgefield Public Library coming to you with another online story time. Get ready to make some noise because we are reading some very loud books today. We are going to start with Boom Boom Go Away, written by Laura Geringer, illustrated by Bagram Ibatulin, and published by Athenian Books for Young Readers. Now kids, this is an important lesson. This book is a lot of fun to read, but this is not how you should talk to your parents when they tell you it's time to go to bed, okay? There was a little gnome who lived in his little home, playing on his big brass drum, boom, boom. And when his mama said, you had better go to bed, he said, hush, don't spoil. The rhythm of my drum. Boom, boom, go away. Boom, boom, go away. <gasps> that is a naughty little gnome. Now, there was a little elf who lived underneath the shelf, playing on his ancient gong. Ding, ding. And when his papa said, you had better go to bed, he said, hush, don't spoil the rhythm of my gong. Ding, ding. Go away! Ding, ding! Boom, boom! Go away! There was a little prince who made everybody wince, playing on his big bassoon. Nee, nee! And when his mama said, you had better go to bed, he said, hush! Don't spoil the rhythm of my tune. Nee, nee! Go away! Nee, nee! Ding, ding! Boom, boom! Go away! Who have we got here? There was a little knight who stood guard beside the light, playing on his battle bells. Bong, bong! And when his papa said, You had better go to bed, he said, Hush! Don't spoil the rhythm of my bells. Bong, bong! Go away! Bong, bong! Nee, nee! Boom, boom, go away. Let's get loud in here. There was a little bot who lived in a flower pot, playing on her steely spoons. Clink, clink. And when her papa said, you had better go to bed, she said, hush, don't spoil the rhythm of my spoons. Clink, clink. Go away, clink, clink, bong, bong, nee, nee, ding, ding, boom, boom, go away. Ooh, take a look at this one. There were three mermaid girls with a treasure chest of pearls playing on their seashell harps, plong, plong. And when their mama said, you had better go to bed, they said, hush, don't spoil the rhythm of our harps. Plong, plong, go away. Plong, plong, clink, clink, bong, bong, nee, nee, ding, ding, boom, boom, go away. Now, there was a little bear who made everybody stare, playing on his big brass horn. Blark, blark. And when his papa said, you had better go to bed, he said, hush, don't spoil the rhythm of my horn. Blark, blark. Go away. Blark, blark. Plong, plong. Clink, clink. Bong, bong. Nee, nee. Ding, ding. Boom, boom. Go away. <sighs> so now, there was a little gnome who lived in his little home, playing on his big brass drum. Boom, boom. And when his mama said, you had better go to bed, he said, hush, don't spoil the rhythm of my drum. Boom, boom. All right, let's see, can we do the whole thing? Go away, boom, boom, ding, ding, nee, nee, bong, bong, clink, clink, plong, plong, blark, blark. Go away, shh. Boom, boom, go away. And that's the end. That is a lot of fun to read. So before we move on to another book, I have 
a little flannel board thing that I made for you guys because I miss doing flannels with you. So we are going to sing a song that's going to start out in a familiar way. But let's see if it goes in a weird direction because, you know, everything goes in a weird direction at story time. So over here we have two kids and they are in their boat and they are rowing down the stream. It goes like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a scary shark, don't forget to scream. Ah! I'm going to put that scary shark away. I wonder who else they're going to see next. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a mean gorilla, don't forget to scream. Ah! It's okay for you guys to scream with me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a slithery snake, don't forget to scream. Ah! I'm going to make that snake go away. He's freaking me out. And row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a roaring lion, don't forget to scream. Ah! I don't know. You guys want to see what's around the next bend? Let's just look for one more thing. Let's see what else we can find. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a dinosaur, don't forget to scream. <coughs> okay, now we're done screaming for a minute or two, but don't worry, we are not done making noise because we have to read a very special book called Gerald McBoing Boing, written by Dr. Seuss and illustrated by Mel Crawford and published by Random House. And it goes, here we go, first page, right there, like this. This is the story of Gerald McCloy and the strange thing that happened to this little boy. They say it all started when Gerald was two. That's the age kids start talking. At least, most of them do. Well, when he started talking, you know what he said? What did you say when you started talking? Did you say mama or dada or ball or pizza? I don't know. Let's see what Gerald says. He didn't talk words. He went boing, boing instead. What's that? cried his father, his face turning gray. That's a very odd thing for a young boy to say. And poor Gerald's father rushed to the phone and quick dialed the number of Dr. Malone. Come over fast, the poor father pled. Our boy can't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. I see, said the doctor. It's just as you said. He doesn't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. I've no cure for this. I can't handle the case. And he packed up his pills and walked out of the place. The months passed and Gerald got louder and louder. Till one day he went boom like a big keg of powder. What do you think? Would you like it if your little brother ran around making noise like that? It was then that his father said, This is enough! He'll drive us both mad with this terrible stuff. A boy of his age shouldn't sound like a fool. He's got to learn words. We must send him to school. So Gerald marched off, an obedient creature. He's a good boy. He just makes a lot of noise. But he was soon sent back home with a note from the teacher. Uh-oh. Did he get in trouble? From Public School 7 to Mrs. McCoy. Your little son Gerald's a most hopeless boy. <gasps> we cannot accept him, for we have a rule that pupils must not go cuckoo in our school. Your boy will go honk all his life, I'm afraid. Sincerely yours, Fanny Schultz, teacher, first grade. Hmm, somebody should have tried a little harder. But anyways... As little Gerald grew older, he found, when a fellow goes, BAM, no one wants him around. When a fellow goes, SQUEEP, he won't have any friends.
For once, he says, clang, 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 all the fun ends. I don't know, do you guys think that's true? Would you like to be friends with Gerald, with a boy who makes noises like that? I don't know, I think he looks like fun. Yeah, yeah, they all shouted. Your name's not McCloy. You're Gerald McBoing Boing, the noise-making boy. Poor Gerald decided that he had no place at home, in the school, in the whole human race. Mm -hmm. And so he concluded that, drear and forlorn, he would just disappear in the thick of a storm. But as he was boarding a slow-moving freight, a voice from the darkness called out, Stop, boy! Wait! wonder who that could be. Aren't you Gerald McBoing Boing, the lad who makes squeaks? My boy, I have searched for you many long weeks. I can make you the most famous lad in the nation, for I own the Bong 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 radio station. I need a smart fellow to make all the sounds, who can bark like a dog and bay like the hounds. Your gong is terrific. Your toot is inspired. Quick, come to Bong Bong Bong, McBoing Boing. You're hired. All right, I think things are starting to look up for Gerald. So now his parents, proud parents, are able to boast that their Gerald's cluck, cluck, bang is known coast to coast. Now Gerald is rich. He has friends. He's well fed because he doesn't speak words. He goes boing, boing instead. And that's the end. So go take a look at our Facebook page and our website so you guys can see some fun activities, some noisemaker projects, um, some cool stuff about sound effects on TV and in movies and things like that. You never know what kind of cool stuff I'm going to share with you. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.